Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Erica. I make videos all about handbags, lifestyle, beauty, and decor. I would love to have you as part of this community. Do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and come visit with me twice a week. That being said though, let's get into the video. Hello everyone, welcome back. I am so excited to be making this video. Now, I am going to be giving you a bit of a reminder of a pretty fun reaction that I had to an unboxing not so long ago. Let me play it for you. Yes, so that was the unboxing of my Go Forth Goods belt bag in the limited edition pink color, which is right here. It is now time to do the review of this wonderful bag. Now, I really hope this helps a lot of you out. I've noticed that there's no reviews on YouTube on this bag. There is no what's in my bags on this bag either. And I feel like this would be so helpful for people who are on the fence, who are thinking about purchasing this bag but just don't know. I have recently just fallen in love with the belt bag. If you saw my Urban Southern videos, you'd know it was my first introduction to the belt bag. And I have been hinged ever Ever since so I picked this bag up it is my first go forth goods bag ever and I am just so excited to be doing a review on this bag now if you're new to my channel this review will go in a very typical style I will show you what's in this bag I feel like that would be super helpful and I think you'll be surprised what all it can hold I will then go into a bit of a review on go forth goods they are a new to me brand on my channel and I feel like they're noteworthy and I really want to talk about their story a little bit I will then go into the general product details I will do a modeling test for you I will show you how this bag looks on my 55 frame and all of the ways that I carry it and then I will go into a tech test aka what size technology fits in this bag I'll give you a hint it's not a computer but we're going to test my phone and then we're also going to do a Kindle test because people have asked for that before and then lastly I will go over my pros and suggestions and everything I've experienced while carrying this bag so definitely stick around until the end to get all of that information but let's not waste any more time let's get right into this bag so really quickly, let me just give you a general overview. So again, this is in the limited edition pink color. So it's this beautiful like pebbled hot pink color. We have the saddle leather that is the accent. And then hanging on the outside is my Briley Collections Louis Vuitton Resalvage keychain. I love this little guy so much and I feel like it just goes so well with the bag and I just have loved having that here. I will leave her information in the description box down below should you be interested. She makes so many cool things out of resalvaged Louis Vuitton products. Definitely go check her stuff out. So let's just go ahead and open this bad boy up. We have a YKK zipper on here and then this is kind of what the entrance looks like. So the first and foremost thing I see is my cell phone. It's just one of the Apple phones. I really forget all the time what the model is, but that fits. Next, I see this e.l.f. hydration uh, concealer. I then see a Bath & Body Works hand sanitizer. I have my little Ikea change pouch. Another thing from Briley Collections is my key card for work. This is, again, something she's made out of resalvaged Louis Vuitton stuff, so I really love that. Next, I have a receipt for UFC Gym. I recently joined lately, so I keep this just in case they ask. I have my little herb good luck vial that I just love to carry. I have my pill pouch that I talked about recently in a what's in my bag that holds my ibuprofen. I have my Life on Mars Goods wallet with the rainbow stitching. So you see that and you see her emblem. Her stuff is so cool. I will definitely leave that in the description box down below as well in case you're interested. I have my vaccine card. I have a Magnolia Bakery business card. My girlfriend and I went there yesterday. We were in downtown Chicago. That vlog's to come, and I tried it for the first time, and it was amazing. Next, I have an Aqua 4 lotion. I have a Maybelline Lifter Gloss Hyaluronic Acid Gloss, one of my all-time favorites. I have my Little Mermaid Compact Mirror. If you know, you know. I have tweezers. I have a little essential oil spray. My Dr. Dan's Corda Balm. I have a hair bobble, a bobby pin, a pen, a lens wipe for my glasses, 
my Lancome perfume, my AirPods, my Bath and Body Works hand lotion, and last but certainly not least, I have another bobby pin. So let me count, I'm really curious, let me count how many items that was. All right guys, in all, including the bobby pins and the receipt, that was 25 items that fit into the Go Forth Goods belt bag. So when I tell you that I was so surprised with what all this bag held, I mean it. This definitely packs a heck of a lot. Okay guys, so the next part of the video, I wanna talk a little bit about Go Forth Goods. Go Forth Goods was created by Nathan Martin. Nathan actually started this company when after going on a family trip and a leather good item that he took broke, he wanted to find something or create something rather that would be built to last and to bring back the idea of American handmade, very good quality. Even from the leather sourcing, it is all sourced in the United States and these bags are built to last. They want to bring back the idea of like generational leather goods so you can actually pass this bag on from person to person to person because that is the type of quality they strive for is something that again is a lifetime, multiple lifetimes and you can actually bequeath it down to the next person because these bags are just that good. And something I really love about Go Forth Goods is that 10% of their sales always go to charity, thus the name Go Forth and Do Good. So I just really loved that. I wanted to squeeze that in. I thought it was so noteworthy and you should know. So definitely go check out their About Me section on their website, I would highly recommend. There's a lot more details there and there's even a video for it. So I just wanted to put that somewhere in here just so you knew. But let's get on to the general product details. Okay guys, so first and foremost, let's get into some dimensions. So this bag measures five inches high, 11 inches wide, and it's got a depth of two inches. The strap is adjustable and it is removable. At its shortest, it is 25 inches, and at its longest, it is 48 inches. This bag is made out of full grain leather, it is oil tanned leather, and it is also water resistant, and the hardware is solid brass. This bag weighs in at six ounces. Again, this is in the limited edition pink color, but this bag generally comes in three different colors, saddle, mocha, and black. Now, I've had a couple questions in the GFG page on Facebook asking how I was able to get it in this color. Thankfully, my friend Hannah was the one that actually showed me how to do this, so shout out to you, Hannah, because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't know how to do it. But anyway, so what you do is these smaller leather items, so bags like the fanny pack, the Kindle satchel, and the Jane, you are able to upgrade to a limited edition color. How you do that is you actually add the bag to your cart first, then you go up in the search key and you are able to search limited edition color. So starting at $25, you can upgrade to this color or any color of your choice of the limited edition. Different colors do cost a little bit more. I do think that the pink was $25. I know that the grape and the cobalt were a little bit more, so definitely it varies, but that is how you're able to do it. Now, I know you're only able to do it with the smaller bags. I don't think you're able to do it with the larger ones, but if you're interested in this bag and you want it in an upgraded color, you are able to do that, and that is how you do it. So I just wanted to make sure that you are aware that you can do that still. Next, guys, if you are new to Go Forth Goods and you've not yet had any of their products, note that these bags are made to order, so it takes about seven to 10 days to get your order going. So for those of you like me, where patience is not one of my virtues, this is something where it takes a little while to come in the mail. So while it is definitely difficult to wait, it's very much worth it but that is definitely something to note. And the general product details is that you will have to wait a little while for this bag to come in. Now though, let's get into the modeling test. Okay guys, so the next section is the tech test, AKA what kind of technology will fit in this bag. Now I think it's pretty obvious we're not gonna get a computer in there, which is my normal tech test, but I thought we should do it with a phone and with the Amazon Kindle. So I think we realize that the phone absolutely does fit within this bag, no problem. I think you could even also fit in a bigger iPhone or a bigger Android, whatever it is that you have within this, no problem. But let's talk about the Kindle. I have not even tried this yet, so let's go ahead and see. We can tuck it 
it fits y'all no problem so you just kind of got to tuck it under but it absolutely fits so if that is something you want to carry it in your bag that is something that will go into this hip bag not an issue all right guys now for the section you've all been waiting for the pros and the suggestions of this bag so let's just get right on into them truth be told I love 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 this bag I am so here for the belt bag you guys know that and I was so excited to get this one in and try it out I reach for this bag constantly I love it it's definitely become one of my all-time favorites first and foremost I love the leather I think it is so plush it's squishy but it still really maintains a good shape in my book and I've just never felt leather quite like this it's so cool it's so pebbly and it just it is like it's just so lush it's thick let me see if I can give you an idea I, it's hard to see on camera but it is just such a thick leather I again I don't think I've ever had leather this thick and it is just beautiful it's luscious and it's just absolutely buttery i adore their leather i think it's fantastic now in line with the leather let's talk about the leather color so i have lots of full grain bags i feel like my collection has definitely grown within the last year i have never seen anything quite like the go forth goods leather limited edition colors i just absolutely adore this hot pink color if you know me if you've been around my channel before if you you haven't I'm a really like a loud love color kind of person I love my things to be ultra unique and I just don't know of very many companies doing hot pink full grain leather bags and I just really loved that about go forth goods it was really something that drew me into their bags I adore all their colors this is my first go forth goods bag but certainly not my last and I think the thing that is really really giving me the most trouble right now is I don't know what color to get next like that is something that's really really difficult for me I'm really loving the yellow and I'm really loving the grape like I am on the fence between the two I don't know which ones to get so that is yes that is a first world problem I am aware but I just have no idea which one to get but anyway that is definitely a pro to me I absolutely love the idea that I have this option to have these types of colors because again like not many companies are doing this and I feel like they just do it absolutely flawlessly it's stunning like it's just a perfect beautiful pink and it definitely draws the eye so I just that had to be you know put out there in one of the first pros is the fact that the colors are chef kiss. They're amazing. The next pro, I really want to just emphasize this. I know I've talked about it. I know I've shown you it, but it's the fact that this bag carries a lot. Like, I feel like, I mean, 25 items fit into this bag. Like, I am able to carry my necessities plus extra. Like, the fact that I'm able, I'm able to squeeze my keys in here. They happen to be on the table right now, but I'm able to get my keys in, which is not something that many of my smaller bags do. I feel like I can just carry so much plus more, and I just absolutely love that about that. I wanted a belt bag that was just a smidge bigger than my other one i love my other one for the fact that i'm able to really carry more of my necessities in but i love how much this one carries i think it's because it's just so much wider and i haven't seen a belt bag like this size on the market there's so few i think and i just feel like the size is just fantastic and i just i love that i don't feel like i have to sacrifice much in terms of what i carry to get into this bag like I don't feel like I had to sacrifice it all I got everything I wanted plus more into this bag and I loved it so much for it and it's definitely something noteworthy about this bag is how much it carries even though you wouldn't think it carries all that much but I did remember I counted 25 items fit into this bad boy the next thing I want to talk about and I've talked about this in terms of belt bags before is just how many ways you can carry this bag it is convertible without being convertible meaning that you don't have like straps that are unhooking and unbuckling and doing a whole bunch of stuff but you can really carry this bag a whole bunch of ways you can carry it on your chest you can carry it like a kind of a sling backpack you can carry it on your belt like on your waist like there's a million different ways to do it and that is something i just absolutely adore about the belt bag i think they're they're even more convenient than the crossbody bag like i would make that statement boldly that i think they're just so much 
more accessible. I think they're easier to get in and out of. This would be my go-to bag in terms of traveling. Uh, I love going into stores with them. They're so simple. I feel like I'm not like digging through anything. I'm not like lost in the dark. Like this just, I get in and out so fast and it's one of the most convenient styles of bags I've ever carried. And again, I just love their convertibility. So if that's something like you are looking for an easy use, get in, get out very quickly and just something that will hold a lot, this is the belt bag for you for sure. And I would definitely encourage everybody to try a belt bag. I really think you'll love them. Also something I wanna talk about in terms of the belt bag that I have had brought up by a friend of mine on here is that she asked how does it work with larger chests because she didn't think it would be comfortable. I do have a larger chest. I know I'm saying this out loud. I have a 36 double D bra size and I have no issue carrying it on my chest and resting it on there. It's just never been an issue for me. I find that it rests comfortably. It's not in the way of anything and I just feel like don't let the idea of that hinder you it's really really quite comfortable and i have never run into any of those types of problems and for those larger chested women out there uh, you can absolutely change the strap setting so you can really encompass any kind of size so that is something i really loved and it just it does it rests really nicely and i have no issue when i carry it the next thing i really loved about this bag i love the zipper entry into it i thought it was so nice it's very convenient to get in and out of with a zipper I thought it was super simple when I would run into the store or the gas station and I kind of wanted to get in and out very quickly. The zipper was so nice. They used the YKK zipper, so it's just built very well. It's a, just a quality zipper. It is, it is so smooth, as you can see, as you can hear here little ASMR for you. But yeah, I love, love, love the zipper entry of this bag for sure. And I just think it's super convenient and definitely something that needed to be brought up within the pros uh, is the fact that I just think that this is a very, very nice entrance into and out of the bag. Lastly, I want to add into the pros is that I just feel like I love the style of bag. I love the rectangle. I think it's a really cool updated sleek version of what we all know as the fanny pack. I at once thought of belt bags as a very like, you know, that kind of vintage 80s, 90s look. I hate to word, use the word dorky, but that's kind of like the memory and like the adjective that's brought to mind when I think belt bag, but I just feel like this one's so sleek. It's very cool. I think it's so updated and I will take this to the office with me. I will go places. I will go out to lunch, to dinner with this, and I just don't feel like I'm carrying a nerdy, outdated kind of bag. I just think it's very like sleek, it's chic, it's cool. And you know, I just feel like it's a very elevated look. And it's just, it's also just minimal, but fun. So I am, I'm here for the look. I think it's very cool. And I think it transitions to multiple kinds of settings within a lifestyle. All right, guys. So the last section then is the suggestions. We used to call them cons. We're going to call them suggestions. Now, the first thing is, is while I do love the zipper entry, I kind of wish that the entrance was on top. I have, again, another belt bag by Urban Southern and the entrance was on top. And I just felt like that was just a little bit more convenient for me versus here. I can't say that any item has ever fallen out. That's not the case at all. I actually had a situation where I forgot to shut this entirely and thank God nothing ever came out. I feel like the items are so, so secure with how this is built. That's not the problem. I think it's just, again, a very personal preference of mine. I would love something on the top versus kind of, I wouldn't even say the middle of the bag, but towards the top half of the bag. But again, personal preference and a suggestion of mine, I would love to have it right here. The next suggestion is I would love for it to have a pocket on the back. Now I did reach out to Go Forth Goods when I was ordering and asked if they could do it and they said unfortunately they could not. I wonder if it's just maybe how the leather's made and that's plushy. Maybe it's just the size of the bag and where I want it. I'm not really sure why they couldn't put a, a pocket on it but I would absolutely adore for there to be a pocket on the back for sure. I just feel like pockets on the back would just make for easier access of a phone. But other than that, I mean, I, again, it's personal, would love it, but did the phone fit inside? No problem. Absolutely. Now the next suggestion, and I, I don't even know if this, this is kind of a con, the belt buckle on this side tends to slip off. Like this just kind of comes off on its own. 
So every once in a while, I like go to grab it and this kind of falls off. Now that is something I will probably talk to GoForth Goods about. They do have lifetime warranty, so I imagine like if I really do tend to like, I, you know, if I really want it replaced, I could. So I'm, I might again talk to GoForth Goods about maybe giving me a new strap. There's nothing wrong with the body of it. I don't know if it's just this particular like piece that's just effective or what it is, but I am having a few issues. I wouldn't have said it if it happened only once, but it has happened to me uh, several times. So enough times for it to be noted within my review that that has happened. So that is again something I will talk to go forth goods about. Now the last, it's not a suggestion, it's not a con. I just want to emphasize the fact that I am an impatient human being. Uh, it is patience is not a virtue that I possess, unfortunately. I like instant satisfaction when I buy things. Even Amazon Prime tends to take too long for me with it's an entire day that I have to wait. So the idea of having to wait for this was very hard for me just because I want it now and I completely understand that great things take time. Again, this is not any sort of negative reflection on Go Forth Goods. Whatsoever, I truly love the idea that they are simply made to order bag and I just I adore that but simultaneously it's very difficult so I just kind of again want to place that right here for any of you like me that just want their stuff now it is a little difficult that you have to wait the time that you do I feel like though for I'm sure as many orders as they get they are pretty on the ball their customer service is fantastic any questions you had they answered relatively quickly but I just yeah it was it was definitely something where uh, it was it was hard to wait so I just wanted to wanted to make sure I put that in there somewhere but anyway guys I hope you found this review very helpful again I did not see any reviews on the belt bag on YouTube for the go forth good belt bag and if you are in the market for a new bag and you want to try something new I would definitely consider their belt bag I again will be ordering from go forth goods very soon I love their products I have fallen deeply for them this is my first but certainly not my last again I'm just I'm, I'm torn between multiple bags and multiple colors. They don't make the decision easy, <laughs> that's for sure. But anyway, I would love to know what Go Forth Goods products you have or what Go Forth Goods products you are interested in. Please, let's start a discussion within the comment section. But anyway, I hope you have amazing an amazing rest of your week, a great weekend, and I cannot wait to see you in Monday's video. That being said, though, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys!